So this is the car thing, the device from Spotify that is their mobile media platform. However, as I've mentioned in other videos, they're discontinuing it. And on December 9th, it will just brick and will be completely unusable. Except for the modding community. I absolutely love the world of modders and those that develop open source platforms. And so because of that, the car thing actually has an option. If you are technically savvy and you can go in and set up some things on your computer, you can repurpose this device to be whatever you want it to be. And while there are a lot of different options out there, the one that I'm going to put on here is called Desk Thing. So yeah, we've moved from Car Thing to Desk Thing, and there are a couple other options out there, notably Glance Thing. So there is definitely a theme going on here in the naming structure. But Desk Thing is a multi-use utility platform made for car thing. You do have to adjust the firmware and load some software, and it does require a companion app, but it completely repurposes this device into something that will still be usable after the Spotify cutoff date. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to install DeskThing on the CarThing platform. Follow the tutorials linked in the description, and the DeskThing community is just truly amazing. Huge shout out to them, and to all of the modding community. But once you've adjusted the software, what do you do with it? So as the name implies, this is a desktop utility, as in literally put it on the top of your desk. There is a companion application which is required to run this as a secondary interface, but think of this as just a modified version of a stream deck. And this is what that primary interface looks like. You'll click on get started, it will show you what you need to do. I've already configured mine, so that's not an issue. But you'll come over to the clients tab and if you have any connection problems go over to the desk thing youtube channel or their discord ask some questions and they'll get you all figured out but what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install applications which you can do from the client side you can download that client and then the app side you'll want to download whichever one of these you would like and they're always adding more i believe you can also upload your own application if you've developed something for this and once you've downloaded one of these applications, it'll ask you to initialize that application. You'll come over to apps. Some of them will have data requests. Both Spotify and Discord will request client-side data. And you'll have to go onto both websites on the developer sides and figure out how to put these in. And for each of the requested pieces of information, it does tell you exactly where to go and what is needed. So I highly recommend you do that. It's very simple and will add in Discord and Spotify functionality directly into this little desk thing device. Once you've gotten all of your different things configured and set, you need to send it to the client side device. So this is mine. This is the car thing that is currently sitting on my desk. And you'll have to come into your details. And this is your primary utility screen for the car thing device itself. Any adjustments you've made on the apps or the configuration you will need to push staged but this is your utility interface for desk thing so you can change your brightness here you can restart the device power it off ping all these different things but it is very important once you make changes to push staged this will restart desk thing and it will reconnect one thing you will certainly want to do once this is all set exactly how you want it you'll want to come down to settings and you'll want to make sure auto start is certainly turned on again this is just a companion device to the desktop application so if this is not automatically started your desk thing will not work the way you want it to and then if you're interested, and I highly recommend you do so if you're utilizing this, you can buy a coffee for the developer of this. It is a single individual that's put all of this together by the name of Riprod. If you're an individual that bought the Spotify car thing, I highly recommend you mod it because the devices are really good. They're streamlined, they're fast, and they have so much opportunity. I really wish that Spotify wasn't discontinuing the service, however, the way that they designed things means that there was a door open for the private developers and modding community to come in and make these changes. Everything is linked down in the description below, and let me know if you have any questions.